So if you want to use Flux AI or a version of it for absolutely free, then this is where you need to go. If you go to desgo.com, D-E-Z-G-O.com, it will take you to this screen. Now, Desgo is a website I've used in the past, and it's hosted stable diffusion-based image generators in the combination of free versions um, with very limited features and then a very reasonable system where you pay up front and then it charges you like, you know, fractions of uh, pennies to um, run the images and things like that. But I've only just been made aware that they've now got Flux in their repertoire of free as well. It's as part of the free package. So you don't have to create an account or anything to use the free stuff. You just have to go onto this screen. This sort of is architecture or default to Flux. So we'll leave it at that because that's that's what we want. Flux is the kind of the latest and the greatest in the AI image generation world. Now I'm going to type a prompt in here. There's only a few options because where it says available in power mode here, that basically means that's only available if you pay. Um, and so the, the count here is generate more than one image at once but you know who cares about that well, let's just type in a prompt so a cute kitten wearing a baseball cap that says and if you want to do text in this because it's quite good at text this is another reason why people um, are liking this flux a lot you put it in just speech marks like that. so we put photo p i've not done that as one word but there is a reason for that and i'll explain in a moment but it says photo P. Um, there is a small plastic yellow duck. I don't know why. I'm just adding another detail in to see if it can actually handle it. So we'll come down here. We can't do the count number because that's only available in power mode. Transparent background mode. We don't want that at the moment, but it can be quite helpful. Resolution. Choose image resolution. Portrait square. So this is just changing the size of it. So square is obviously what you expect. If you go all the way to the right, it's almost like a, a 16 by nine um, wide wide type, you know, um, thing. And these are steps in between and it goes the other way into portrait. So I'm going to leave it a square. I'm going to go more options. Now this bit that says available in power mode here and it's, it's blanked out for us on the free mode is steps. And that's kind of like a quality slider. Um, so to keep things as cheap as possible so they can do this for free, this is um, blocked off unless you pay and it's it's blocked off and it's lowered to a very low default setting but it can still give us really good results just because it's low in comparison to the opened up version of flux it still that still means we can get some great images so seed i'm not going to worry about that for the moment format png there isn't really much left to do other than click run now this is on a um this is on a shared sort of server process where you join a queue if you're in the free version as well so you don't have to you're not waiting to watch these adverts finish before um it'll actually process your image it's not like photo p where you use the magic replace and you have to watch two specific adverts before it'll even start processing they just play as it's processing so okay there we go you can see now it's appeared and we've got what we've asked for a cat, a cute kitten with a cap on saying photo P and a small yellow plastic duck. Perfect. And if I show you what the seed does, now take this opportunity to show you how the seed works. At the top of the image here, it says seed and it's got this number. If we copy and pasted that in, if we, sorry, if we just ran this again now, we would get a completely different result. So let's just click run again with the same prompt and everything, and it will give us a completely different result. But if we were to take the seed from this image here, see photo P, it's given us something different. Again, we've got two little, two little um, ducks there, it's kind of cute. But if we were to paste in the seed from that previous generation and click run again, then we're gonna go back to that exact generation. So it's a good way if you find something you really like and you wanna sort of revisit it to try and make changes to it, just make a note of the seed number and then you can always go back to the exact uh, version that you had. Now, this is this is all well and good. This is really great. But there's an even better little feature about this is that some kind of photo P user has actually decided to incorporate this into a plugin within photo P. So we're going to go to our photo P screen here. And as you can see, I've got this image already in here that I made using it. And all we want to do is go to the window menu at the top. 
go to plugins and you'll see here desgo text to image which is the site we just done desgo.com click on it click on install okay come out of it with the cross in the top right corner and now we'll see next to the layers panel here we've got this icon at the bottom and it's desgo stable diffusion so we click that and as you can see here, it's basically got um, a mobilized almost version of the website in a plugin straight in our photo, um, photo piece screen. So again, we're going to sort of do the same thing. So we're going to go flux and we can just type in whatever we want. Um, photo of uh, fries in the diner, whatever you like. But if cheeseburger and fries in the diner, the same options are grayed out. In the, as it was before the free version which is absolutely fine so you can see all the same options are available and then we just click run at the top and in the in the photo p version you don't even see those adverts that were up on the website so even though they didn't restrict the generation at all you don't see them anyway so you just get the image without sort of having to you know worry about the adverts it's great and the same thing on here when you want to use that just click download it'll download it to your downloads folder or wherever your browser is set to download images to and then you can just drag it into um drag it into photo p and do what you need to do with it and i'm going to show you a little tip just before i go i'm going to show you the type of thing you can do instead of just making just nice pictures for the sake of it you can use it to create sort of assets for your creative work in photo p so you can do things like um antique textured paper something like that i'm just going to run that and let that generate i will go through the paid version of this website in another um i'm going to run that again because i don't particularly like the result i'm gonna you know go through in a different video the paid options for the desgo site because i created an account earlier on today to test it for myself and it's just even for the paid versions of this it's amazingly cheap um so it's still a really great option if you get used to using the free version and you just want a little bit more quality out of it and once you get used to it you can choose to do that if you like but I'll, um yeah i'll make a separate video about that so let's just see what happens with this generation now okay that's something more more even so we can do things like download the image drag it into photo p let me just minimize that window and now you've got obviously a quick and easy background to write things on or you can um you know you can do things like use it on blending modes over images to give things like a vintage look and you can do so much stuff with this you can prompt for like cracked concrete texture and metal textures and everything and then use blending modes to really you know spice things up and um, just change things. And it's, um, yeah, really, really versatile. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I look forward to making a lot more videos in the near future, utilizing this free version of Flux within Photopea.